1987 and packed with Huey Lewis chart-topping hits, the new musical The Heart of Rock and Roll will have you dancing in your seat. The story follows a pair of 20-somethings on the cusp of their futures, asking the big question, if this is it. And stars of the show, Corey Ka and Mackenzie Kurtz, plus the man with all the music, the legendary Huey Lewis, joins me now. Welcome, everybody. Hey, thanks Thank for having you. us. Thank you. I, first of all, I just want to say I'm a huge Huey Lewis fan, so I am so excited that you are here, and I'm so excited for this show. I compliment you on your musical taste. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but the show is getting rave reviews. Everyone is so excited about this. But this has been a long journey, right? So six years ago it premiered at, in San Diego. So right. how long has it been with you, have this idea? Right, yeah. Well, uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly, but a decade, let's say, at least. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and so how, how, how excited are you that it's finally here? Very, very excited. I mean, you know, we, we, we've written the thing. We, for, we spent 10 years working on it. And now we have these fabulous yeah. actors to infuse these characters with, you know, real life life stuff. So it's really fun to watch. Yeah, and I want to hear about these characters too. So, yeah. Corey, you play Bobby. Tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, Bobby is this guy. He's an unfettered optimist. He's going to make make it work no matter what. He wants to win at life. He, he's at a bit of a crossroads. He was in a rock and roll band that failed, and he decided that uh, he's going to pivot and, and climb the ranks at a, at a corporate, the corporate ranks at a cardboard company. And so, again, he wants to add value to the world. He just doesn't know exactly how to do it. Of course, his boss is this beautiful woman that he um, you know, starts to ignite a little bit of a spark with. So he ultimately has to choose between going back to the band climbing the ranks of this company or love and uh, uh, you have to come and see it to figure out what happened. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course not. I mean, no I'm way. hoping that you choose love. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Mackenzie, tell me about Cassandra. Yes. So Cassandra is a uh, higher up at the company and she's a numbers girl. First, I really like this dynamic that's right. created that the woman is the boss. Uh, yeah, right. All right. She's and <laughs> yeah. you see Mackenzie. She's so good at it. <laughs> Thank yes. You. But yes, she's a higher up and she's a bit socially awkward. She's a numbers girl. Some may even say a little neurotic. And she kind of goes on this beautiful journey where she kind of gains confidence with the help of this spry gentleman. Who yeah, works Bobby at, sees her potential. And yeah, sort of helps yeah. Her ascend yeah. along the way. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's a beautiful story and journey that these two characters get to go on together. Yeah, a beautiful story with some amazing music. I know that obviously it features all of your music, but there's one original song too. So what was the inspiration for the original song? Uh, well, we, uh, we put the show up in San Diego, as you mentioned, six years ago, and the uh, theater director there, Barry Edelman, said, asked me uh, if there were any original songs in this show, and I said, yes, there was one. It's not, it's not in the show anymore, but there was one. Uh, I said, why? He says, because it's, it's characteristic in a musical to have the lead character sing a song early in the show yeah. that articulates his aspirations and his hopes and so, and so on. So I said, well, okay. So I put it all together, and there were some parallels with Bobby and me in that I started this band, my band, when I was 28 years old, 29 yeah. years old. I was still working a day job, and this was kind of my last shot, kind of like Bobby. So I... I channeled that. I, I know. I knew a little bit about, you know, the the ambition and the anxiety yeah. and so on. And that's what I drew upon to write the song. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm just curious from you guys, like, what is your favorite songs that you get to sing? It's really. It changes by the day. It's it's pretty wild. The the audience response has, has shifts every night. Uh, what their favorite is, so that kind of becomes their favorite. I get to sing this song. So like the energy of the audience affects. The song? Oh, yeah. Totally, yeah. yeah. But I do get to sing this song that's more of a deep cut, I think, uh, most Huey Lewis fans would say, called uh, Only One, The Only One. And it's sort of... Um, it's sort of Bobby's uh, most sincere moment in the show where he's reckoning with the, the loss of his father yeah. and um, and trying to deal with that in real time of how to move on with his life. And it's just a fantastic uh, song that I... I I enjoy singing every night. Yeah. And, and, and Corey's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're amazing. Thank you, Huey. Stop. I would expect. You're on Broadway. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then the classics, like, I mean, Hip to be Square oh, is uh -huh. a great way to start the show. And people oh, yeah. are hyped immediately. Yeah. Um, power of and love. And everybody, does, does the audience sing along? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, how do they not? Everyone knows. By the, the end, everyone is jamming, clapping. Yes. There's a moment I get to sing if this is it. And, and I'm oh. in the audience when I sing it. I won't tell you why. Why, but I'm in the audience, and people will be singing with me while I'm singing in the audience. It's uh, fantastic. And Huey, I know that 19, 
not all of your 19 top 10 hits made it in this show. Are these like your children, these songs? Do you feel like bad for the ones that didn't make it? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Uh, uh, because, uh, in, I mean, you know, the, uh, we have so many great, great songs in the show. And interestingly, some of our songs that weren't our biggest hits are the biggest numbers in the show. Oh. Because, well, obviously, because uh, because it's choreographed yep. and, be, and because of the, they the, sell the it. talent. Yeah. You know? So, um, yeah, my, my favorites are Give Me the Keys mm -hmm. and uh, Stuck With You and Power of Love because there's the, the, the scene is so great. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you all have to go see the show. You can catch the musical playing now at the James Earl Jones Theater on West 48th Street. For more, visit Heart of Rock and Roll, bway.com. Good to see you all. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming. Thanks, Thank Sarah. you very much.